All right, very generic stuff here. Uh, build up a VM. We got 2008 R2 on the side. And we're looking at the file classification stuff. Um, simply put, basically, uh, I've, I've put a few uh, images and files that have different patterns in them. Uh, either they say confidential, they've got a social security number pattern typed in. Uh, it's just regular expression stuff. You can jump over here and show you what we've got. Uh, you can define your own schema for classification. So I've come in here, I've just made a property called confidential. And it's just, I can tag it as yes or no. So either something's confidential or it's not. Um, as far as my rules go, I got one that uh, goes ahead and finds anything that has uh, con the word confidential in it. Um, it's not case sensitive. You can uh, be strict about it, but I want to find it whether it's you know case sensitive or not. So uh, we're choosing a content classifier. Um, if you jump in here, you can go ahead and see that I'm just looking for a string. It's confidential. You can use regular expressions. I've got one of those. I'll show you in the next one here. So the social security number, um, very basic stuff. You just come in here, you're looking through the content again. And I've just got a regular expression of digit, 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 dash, digit, digit, dash, four more. So uh, what happens here is when we run these, these classifications, um, it's going to tag the, the metadata of each file as either confidential or not. Uh, that's when both of these actually stick the confidential. You can see right here, they say confidential, yes. Um, so now we've got file management tasks we can act on these actual properties. So I've got one, uh, one of them just moves files. It says, uh, let's find here my conditions. Uh, if the thing hasn't been modified in 365 days, then do whatever I specify in the action. The, there is a built-in file expiration, but I don't want to get rid of anything and I don't have it tied into a, to a virtual email server to email people about it. Uh, but you can do that. Uh, you can also give it a wait time. You say, you know, for two weeks, let them go grab it, and if it, then if it still hasn't moved or modified, then uh, then kill it. So I wrote a, a very basic power script or PowerShell script here. Um, you just you hand it a couple of arguments. So it's going to move the file. I'm handing it the source file path, and then I'm telling it where to move. Um, the only reason I did that is so I don't have to keep rewriting the script for different uh, paths. So basically what's going to happen is the move file is going to grab anything that, that this condition gets met with and uh, move it to this directory right here. Um, and then we've got this other one. Same concept, but this is if it finds anything uh, in the confidential folders. Uh, you can, you know, you could obviously script the ever-living crap out of this thing and do whatever you want. I just have it moving that into the confidential directory. Uh, the script itself, I've also got it looking to... Uh, to create the thing. So if the path does not exist, the directory I'm trying to move it to, it'll go ahead and create it. So uh, now basically all we do is we jump in here and we run these uh, classifications and uh, run the file management tasks. So uh, I'll go uh, move old files. And you can come over here, just see, I'm targeting this particular directory. I do have an old files. Notice I don't have a confidential. I do have old files. Nothing's in here. I jump back into here. I want to do my move old files. I'm just going to wait and watch it happen in real time here. It is going to dish out a little report for us afterwards. It'll tell us how many uh, how many rules got applied. If you're looking to do logging on the actual actions, you're going to have to build that into the script or whatever we actually do for that. Wait for this to finish up here real quick. It's taking a little bit longer than normal just because I'm screen capping it, but uh, all right. Should be firing up uh, Internet Explorer and showing us the log here pretty quickly. And now you can see it moving things into that folder. So anything that has been modified in the, you know, the conditions that we set. And these are just running off random garbage files I had sitting around on my laptop.
and still is actually uh, not quite finished yet, and we can tell that simply because it hasn't popped up with a report that uh, covers up the screen. All right, here comes IE. Uh, this stuff's here just because I, uh, I don't have it scheduled for the future. I've got it in the past so it doesn't run when my VM's turned off. Uh, it tells us we got 40 files, total about 500 megs, that are going to be uh, acted upon or that meet this criteria. So it gives us the, the details on all that stuff there. And if I were to go and look at that directory, you're going to see all those files sitting around in there now. And uh, I have it doing a move, not a copy. We can, I mean, we could do all kinds of stuff. We could, we could move it and leave a, leave a link behind. But this guy's just going to copy it straight out of here and move it to the other place. Um, so I got a couple of documents here that have got confidential stuff here. You know, first one, this one says confidential. It also uh, has a social security pattern in it. I made that up, so if it's yours, I'm sorry. Um, here's a TIFF image. Uh, and I dropped a uh, social security pattern inside of that as well. So uh, somewhere around here, there we go. I threw a social security in there. Um, it does OCR against TIFF images. So if we come over here and uh, we run the confidential files one, we're going to see it. Uh, we should see it actually create the confidential files folder. Uh, it'll also update that debug log. It's very generic stuff. I just something that was helping me figure out what variables were getting passed by the uh, file classification infrastructure tool. And it's also a handy indicator as to uh, when the, the task finishes up. So we'll uh, we'll wait for this for a couple of seconds. There's the confidential folder got created. Here's my file. It tells me I got five different things that meet uh, either the word confidential or a uh, social security pattern. And inside there, I've got my uh, my five files. So let's see what this one. I believe this is just a copy of the uh, of the document right below it. Uh, it's just a social pattern. Um, this one down here, I believe, just says confidential and the social in it. And then I've got. One over here that says the word confidential on it somewhere, I think it's right. Right over here, in some white space there. Right there. So uh, this stuff is pretty slick and you can see all I did is uh, write a very generic PowerShell script. Um, it's, I don't know, five, six lines. It's actually easier to see in Notepad. I might have it open. So I pull the arguments uh, that I'm looking for. So a couple of variables, check the path, move things around. Um, this one's not doing anything fancy. I, I, if you wanted to actually use this, you'd want to be stripping the, uh, the path um, out of the file name so that you could recreate the same folder structure after you move it so things you know, are where people would expect them to be. But uh, overall, it's really slick, and um, we'll see if this is uh, actually useful to anybody.